crushes. Didn't we all have them? Whether it was kindergarten or middle school, or even now, you can't prevent crushing on someone. Now, this story is not about me crushing on someone, by all means, we haven't gotten that far. But to make it interesting, it is about a girl I had a crush on, who later turned out to have a crush on me. But no, no, no. This is not one of those I'm so happy that I'm loved stories. This actually turned into a nightmare for me. So here, have some cookies and milk because it's Christmas. Just lean back and listen to my story. So when I started seventh grade, I was introduced to the following subjects. Chemics, biology, and physics. I want to focus on, on physics in this video, as most actions take place in this class. So I got into class, and this classroom was different than the others, as you didn't just have single desks. So four to five students could sit next to each other, and I got the luck that I was able to sit more in the back than in the front. Now, my neighbors weren't that bad, which was what I thought at first. I had this small, ultra jumpy girl, easily moody. Let's call her Emma. Then there was a super nice and friendly girl. Let's call her Mary. And then there was her. I'm gonna call her Kasaya. Now, I won't give her a description just now. Um, Kasaya was the girl I had a crush on during sixth grade. And this crush lasted for maybe three to four months. But as I said, this was in sixth grade, so during the time we were seated next to each other, I was no longer crushing on Kasaya. But a few wrong things started to go down as soon as we started to sit next to each other. Now, I noticed her actions way before we had physics together, but these just grew stronger and more inappropriate the more contact she could have with me. Amy, what actions? Well, yeah, she started to touch me. As uncomfortable as I feel talking so open about this, I was cool with it at first, as it was just light shoulder touches and accidental touches in the chest area. Yeah. It wasn't until she started to try holding hands during class that I got suspicious of her behavior. Every class, Kasaya would reach out and just hold my hand, nuzzling me or whatever, and I must say I wasn't pleased. A little later, I came together with my now ex-girlfriend, let's call her Lex. This thing, of course, didn't last long, but you'll know why. Anyways, Kasaya didn't stop even though she knew that Lex and I were together. As Lex told her that we were, Kasaya started crying. Later on, I found out that she was into me ever since I confessed to her in sixth grade. So, the next day before physics class, I pulled her aside. Yo, you know, I have a girlfriend and I'm happy with her. I don't want to do any risks, so I don't want you to interfere, feelings or not. Then I walked into class, simply leaving her there, no chance to reply. But guess what? It didn't stop. It got worse. A few months later, I broke up with Lex. And what do you think happened? Kasaya got together with Lex in order to make me jealous. Lex broke up with Kasaya like a month later as she was still into me. But anyhow, Kasaya started to, inter uh, to interact weird. And also act weird again. She became more attention-seeking than ever, and seemed ever so slightly obsessed with me as she tried to make contact every chance she had. At one point I decided to just take a different way to enter school, as we had three possibilities to enter. So this is where all my friends, including Kasaya, were, and this is the way I took. So I started avoiding her, and as lucky as I am, Soon, we weren't seated next to each other in physics anymore. I was so happy I got rid of her. And suddenly, all of it stopped. We weren't talking at all and things got easier for me. Until a few weeks ago.